All right, guys, here we go. Episode 90 this week playing against Pitt. They're in the ACC, um, a rival school from the offline dynasty, which is kind of hit and miss here recently. <laughs> um, I'm kind of getting there, but it's like I said, busier in the summer while everybody else is not. So they're doing all right. Their top players, free safety, right tackle, wide receiver, who's injured, hopefully for a while. Let's check it. And yes, seven weeks, uh, they have a corner that's out. So that, that definitely helps. We still got Mark 5 out. Right, right into the gameplay here. We are playing at night in the snow. Um, the Italian had an idea of adjusting the, I think, some of the games that only at night in November or something like that. I don't know. We adjusted it, and uh, I get a snow game. And I absolutely get laid out right there. My gosh. Number 10. Check your uh, check yourself. You're on a highlight reel for getting ran the fudge over. My um, second goal after that, uh, it's not the play I picked, so I audible out of it. Try to make something happen. They dump it off to the tight end. Who they hit. Almost the entire game. 3 for 3, 15 yards is probably all to the tight end. So 3rd and 11 here, my first series. Trying to get the first down, run a play I never run. Drop back pass and hit. Oh, Vital. Almost, almost not quite uh, main enough to hold on to it, but he holds on to it. Gives me a first and goal. Typically, my guys will drop that, so it's nice to see. Second and goal, I just do a little read option hurdle. <laughs> and a trip and fall on the end zone. <laughs> my quarterback, Trevor uh, Simeon is what I'm calling him. An Italian saw it and he said it was called Seaman. I don't know what his name is. I'm calling him Simeon, so it didn't matter. So in the second quarter now, second, third and inches, I do a little read option. Nice little slide there. Quarterback doing work, doing work for sure. Uh, first down, didn't do much. Second and seven, drop back to pass. And everybody I was looking at, oh, uh, covered. I see why, looking back at it, which would have been a nice a nice little touch, but didn't see him in time. Regardless, quarterback scrambles for the touchdown. We got 14-7. So in the second quarter now. I'm, I'm, I would just like a field goal right here. Um, didn't like what I saw. Put X on the jet. He burns right past that corner and lob it up. And money. I don't know what the corner was doing. He kind of stopped and stutter stepped. Typically, that's picked off if I throw it. This time, it was not. Six for six, 77 passing yards and a touchdown. I actually got a lob one deep, and he got it. It was nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're happy. <laughs> Checking out the stats. Um, they're pretty even. 32-39. Had the ball for about six minutes. And yeah, we're pretty even. 77-73. Had the ball for about seven minutes. So... Just producing a little bit better on offense than they are, which is nice. Definitely comes in handy. And you're trying to win a football game. So we got 21-7 right now, third quarter. We got the ball start this half. Didn't like where I saw audible out of it. I think I sent an X on another jet and didn't didn't throw it this time. Decided to take off. Uh, RB came open right there at the last second, but it was already too late. I already made up my mind to scramble. So I'll take a nice little six-yard game with my quarterback. Second and four, a little read option. And fake it to the running back. And look at those blocks. Look at those blocks. Run into the, my own guy, I guess. I don't know what happened. Uh, just bounce off somehow. And my quarterback with his third rushing touchdown of the game, his fourth touchdown of the game. He's been he's been pretty money. Pretty money for sure. So third and two. Drop back to pass. And a little play action. They said it was set up play, so I run it. I throw it to RB for some reason. That corner safety, whatever that dude was. I was playing way off and didn't break on the ball. His play, his awareness is probably about like my guys. <laughs> Not very good. So we get a pretty good game there. First and goal. Let's hand it off to the running back. Buckley, give him some touches. I, I, I was going to have to avoid this shoestring tackle. Didn't even need to jump, but did it anyways. Don't want to touch the line. It's not just in baseball where you don't touch the white line. <laughs> it's a little bit different in football, though, because there's white lines everywhere. But they're not done yet. First and 10, drop back the pass. And whoop. Jones says, give me that ball, son. Uh, and come on, outrun him. Oh, not quite, not quite enough. But that's our second pick of the game. We're already running away with it. 35 to 7. I missed the computer, so I'm thinking, why not? <laughs> Into the fourth quarter, we, we kind of milked the clock a little bit. First and goal. Call some slants. I want to get my quarterback some passing touchdowns. Throw it to B. I mean, A was open, X was open for about five minutes. It doesn't matter. Anybody would have caught it for the touchdown. And that's. That's 127 yards and two touchdowns for my quarterback, which is rare, or very rare. That's like two games worth. So in the fourth quarter again, we got the ball back, go with a little screen. I've been running it quite a bit. Dump it off to Buckley, and 66 lays that full out. My gosh, gets down there, gets another block on their star secondary. And screen pass for a touchdown. Quarterback doing work. The running back, huge play. He's running after the catch. Big blocks by my lineman, which is nice to see for a team that's not very good. But we're... We're doing all right. 49-7, pretty good lead. About two minutes left. Drop back to pass on a screen. I read it all the way. Breaks the tackle, and I, I, I don't even, I don't even know. I mean, I did what I was supposed to do. I was over there to stop him. He just broke it. Huge gain for them on a screen. I left that in there because I typically say screens don't work. 
he gets a flukes like that where it does. <laughs> I have been caught off guard a couple of times, I'm not going to lie. But that sets him up for a pretty good situation. They end up going pretty much three and out, fourth and three. Drop back to pass, trying to get the first down, and come off my block and get the sack. School record also for this game, three sacks in a game. And we got the ball back, so we're like, why not? We had a minute. What's the worst that could happen? A little play action pass. B wide open across the middle, Jones. Huge, huge day for him. He caught the ball um, pretty good. Yeah, four catches, 65 yards, two touchdowns. That's not bad. At six seconds left, third and goal. Audible, a lot of people out. A was open, or B was open. I think B was open, doesn't matter. Jones gets another touchdown because he's the man. He's the man. Quarterback tearing it up this game. That's our fifth consecutive win. And my quarterback, 308 yards, seven touchdowns. Everybody else, 130 yards and a touchdown. It was a pretty, pretty high-flying game for me, especially passing ball because I don't throw it a lot. My quarterback, 16 for 19, 215, 14 carries for 93 yards, seven total touchdowns. My gosh, it is nice to have a game like that every now and then. Hopefully I can have games like that more often against the computer. <laughs> I think I still have a couple more user games, but that's towards the end of the season. Hopefully they don't ruin my chances to play for a national championship and get dominated like it was last year. <laughs> it was a bad situation. Looking at the stats, we dump, we beat them every category. Not even close. We we're eight yards difference. Eight, yard, eight more yards rushing than passing. That's insane. Top players, quarterback, Simeon, our left in, had three sacks. Not a bad game. Looking forward to it. Hopefully, hopefully we're doing all right. And we'll be right back with the advance. All right, just got done. Just showing the highlights from the game against Pitt. It was a little closer than I wanted at half. And then we just kind of opened it up after that. Ended up winning pretty good. I'll take it. 56-7. <laughs> I did level up again, which was nice. And did some more recruiting. But not really a whole lot there. See how everybody else did. USC ends up. Oh, they have a bye week this week. So never mind. Uh, Boise State bye week. Indiana ends up winning 35-31. Ended up getting back in time to play this game. That's why we delayed it because a lot of people were, were on break. Uh, Cincinnati ends up losing 38-35 in overtime. Man, that's a that's a heartbreaker right there. Georgia Tech ends up winning 91-49. Minnesota ends up losing 35-29. to He had the limit of three restarts. I mean, he sent me a message saying that it it locked up on him or it wouldn't let him hike the ball on the last series, which kind of sucks. That that really does, man. Um, something like a fluke glitch in the game can cost him the game. But he didn't go over the three, so that's that's okay. But I would have rather <laughs> I would have liked to, for him to get the chance to to win the game. Uh, Missouri ends up winning thirty to twenty four. Iowa lost twenty eight twenty four. NC State ends up getting the win 42-24. And just a heads up, guys, it is not three restarts. It is where it says three restarts. So essentially the first time you try it and then two restarts after that. So it, where it will say three, um, this will slide this time after that for everybody. Um, just a heads up. If it says three like it does here, that's okay. Um, that's perfectly acceptable because the first time it's not really a restart. It's a start. So you get technically two restarts. Um, so just a heads up there. NC, NC State ends up getting a win, 42-24. Wisconsin had a bye week. If you want to see how uh, Ole Miss, almost said Ole Miss again. I said it last video. I didn't even catch it. Um, Oklahoma State did. Make sure you go check out the Italian, see, see his video, see how he did. So we're going to advance it real quick, see what's going on in top 25, and we'll be right back. All right, just got done with the advance. I have a bye week this week, so nothing nothing special. Probably just do an uh, update video, see what everybody else did in the Dynasty. And let's see what's going on now. USC plays Arizona. Boise State plays Utah State. Indiana plays Michigan State. Cincy plays Temple. Georgia Tech plays Minnesota. Uh-oh. That could be, could be an interesting game there. Uh, Georgia Tech's been, been kind of on a rampage. So user versus user. Missouri plays Georgia. Iowa has a bye week. NC State plays Syracuse. Wisconsin plays Michigan. And Ole Miss, um, almost is bye week. Sorry, tag going Ole Miss. <laughs> I did it again. So so many years we played as this, as Ole Miss, man. Ole Miss and Vanderbilt. Oklahoma State's got a bye week. So we both got bye weeks this week. Just the heads up there. Let's see what's going on. on top twenty five. There's Ole Miss. There you go. Got to throw them in a video every now and then. One, two, three, four is the same. Five lost, and I'd leapfrogged. Number six, Oklahoma, to move up to number five slot, Wisconsin, in the top ten. Florida State ends up losing to Maryland. That's twice. That's two losses here. And the way their team stacked, I guess, well, looking at that offense, 99, defense, 88. 
No telling what happened there, but I don't think they should lose. Georgia Tech goes from unranked to ranked after beating Miami pretty, pretty handily. Number nine. Anybody else? Not quite. Oop. Um, Indiana's almost there, and Oklahoma State's almost there. So a couple of guys just outside the top 25. Media poll, 4, 8, 9, 13. Anybody else? Nope. Anybody else close? Indiana and Oklahoma State, same thing. They're they're both right there. Check out the, the Heisman watch, actually. I don't think I've done that in a while. And we got Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech. A couple of good good players there. And Nevada, my quarterback's up there. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> had a pretty good game passing last game, which is kind of surprising. I even had a couple of touchdowns. And then Wisconsin's running backs up there. So they're, they're doing pretty good. Georgia Tech, Wisconsin, and everybody else putting up some pretty good numbers this year. Check out the, the grades, current rank for everybody. 4, 5, 7, yeah, 17, thought it was 18. 29, 31. We got 48 Iowa, 54 Missouri, 58 NC State, 60 Boise, 64 Minnesota. After they got shafted, anybody else? I don't think so. Oh, Cincinnati, and even 100. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's where we're sitting right now. It's not too bad, um, but we're doing all right. We're still pretty, pretty early in the season. I mean, week seven, we still have another at least seven, eight weeks. So we're about the halfway mark. So we're, we're all right. But like I said, next video will probably just be an update real short. Just see what everybody else did inside of bye week this week. But if you want to see some more gameplay, make sure you check, check out the, uh, the Italian. Well, I'll get it out eventually. <laughs> make sure you check out the Italian over his channel. Link's always in the description. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time.